Hello world, welcome to Blue Kazoo Game Talk with yours truly, Rhino29, because I'm the only one who bothers making videos for this channel, except for ADOS 10, in which case he only, he's only made two videos, one of them was not good because of the audio, one of them was just, hello world, welcome to Minecraft, not enough enthusiasm, that's why I make the videos, Daniel, I don't know where he is right now, he's probably playing cricket, what? Actually, it's 20 past 2, so I'm going to say he's home. Mate, I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I'll message him later after this. Anyway, welcome to Game Talk. And if you cannot read titles for some unknown reason, then you are about to listen to the Master Chief Collection review by me. That's me. Yep. Anyway, so the Master Chief Collection is 343 Industries. Greatest idea. Um, what they've done is that they've put all four main Halo games onto one disc for the Xbox One, which is awesome. At 1080p graphics and 60 frames per second. So that's very cool. I'm going to start off by saying the positives. Alright, before I start, keep in mind I've only played the Halo Combat Evolved. I'm almost finished that game, but I, f I figured. You know, I can already tell what are going to be the positives and negatives. So, I figured, why not do a review now? So, if there are any more positives and negatives which I've missed out, leave a comment below. And just remember, I haven't played the full game yet. Starting off with the positives, um, the most obvious thing, all four games are one disc. I reckon that's very cool. Um, I love how they did that. It makes it so much easier to play all four games. Um, rather than switching from one disc to, well, I hit my laptop. Rather than switching from one disc to another, it's very cool. Um, as I mentioned before, 60 frames per second, 1080p, that's just amazing. All games got that upgrade now, so Halo 2 will look absolutely amazing, especially since this is its 10 year anniversary, I think. And so, yeah, that'll just make the game a lot smoother and look more incredible. I've been trying to get this achievement on Halo Combat Evolved where you have to switch from old graphics to new graphics on every single level. And originally on Combat Evolved Anniversary, it would do like a fade out thing and the game will like still play in the background so you could be getting shot and you'd for some reason click the um, change graphics, you wouldn't be able to see them. But now they've changed it so it's just instant. So I reckon it's I think that's just a little better, just saves a little more time. And it really you can really identify the difference rather than yeah. It makes it a lot easier to tell like how they've improved it when it's instant change rather than a uh, fade out. Well they now have all multiplayer maps on the one disc. So I know that um I think I'm not sure what game it was. It might have been I don't know Combat Evolved Anniversary or something, but um, they didn't have all the original maps. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly. Um, all I know is that on one of the games they didn't have all the original maps. This time they have every single map available, so I reckon that's pretty cool. Go back to the classics and to the new ones. So Blood Gulch, Ragnarok is going to be an absolute war zone. I know that much. There's easy access between the campaigns and the new Halo menu. Um, you can easily play combat evolved and like say you want to have a little break play a little bit of halo 2 just simply save and quit and simply click on halo 2 and resume campaign so it's very cool makes it a lot easier um, as i mentioned before rather than switch from disc to disc it's just a few buttons and you're right up to where you were menu set out arc and they've done pretty well especially with all four games they've set it up into separate tabs so you've got campaign multiplayer um, i think you got like settings, uh, your files or something. Um, so I reckon they've set out fairly well considering it's four games with one camp, and they all have their own sub tabs. So campaign, you got Halo, Combat Evolve, Halo Two, Halo Three, Halo Four, and then under that you got Resume Campaign, Quick Start, or um, New Game. So I reckon they've set out fairly well. It's fairly easy to navigate between um, pages, and I reckon they've just done a pretty well done, well done job. Halo 4, when they had the specializations, 
in the Mushroom Collection, they are all already unlocked, which is very cool, rather than, like, spending hours trying to get up to level 50 and then unlock one, spend another few hours to complete that specialization, and then switch into the next one. They're all already unlocked. For the Master Chief Collection, because Siren is 4 against 1, it's fairly cheap. I mean, I got it and it was roughly $80 on pre-order. That's pretty damn good. I mean, you buy all those games separately and it adds up to over $150, especially on Xbox One. So I can, that's just amazing. So you save a lot of money. Um, Halo 5 Guardians, uh, multiplayer beta. Obviously, that's exciting. We're all excited for the Halo 5 Guardians game. Uh, won't come out till November next year, 2015. Um, the beta is available, I think, 28th of December to, like, the 14th of January. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure exactly. But, um, I think that's fairly cool. Get a little taste of what Halo 5's got for us. That's very cool. Since they made the Halo Master Collection, they've made a Halo channel. So, basically, when you find, like, a terminal, it'll take you to the Halo channel. Unfortunately, you do have to download it. It's not part of the actual game. But you, you will get it for free if you bought the Master Chief Collection. Um, so basically you can watch all your terminal videos there. All Halo Online videos which people have made. Halo Nightfall, that's pretty exciting. I've watched, I think I'm up to episode 4. And it's very cool, it's very exciting. And to me, the best thing of all, achievements. I consider myself a bit of an achievement hunter. Over 4,000 game score, I, I'm so happy. I'm very happy. I do love getting my achievements. I recently hit 10,000 game score, so I'm going to be very happy for a few weeks. Now for the negatives. Again, keep in mind, I've only played Halo Combat Evolved, alright? Not all the other ones. Uh, for the negatives, I've heard that there have been quite a few multiplayer issues where it's come to finding a lobby and then that lobby staying open. Um, there have been lots of complaints online. 343 Industries are, doing, are trying to get the problem fixed. They've up they've made a few patches um i have not played multiplayer yet because i'm wait i'm gonna wait till they've fully fixed it rather than playing it for the first time then get frustrated so yeah there are a few multiplayer issues but um hopefully if we're all just patient enough free for free industries will fix it and it'll all go back to normal spartan ops in halo 4 they had spartan ops i absolutely loved it i am yet to find spartan ops i'm not sure whether it's in the halo 4 tab um again because i'm playing the games in order on heroic so i'm not up to it so unless it's in there i haven't actually checked but i've had a little qu quick look around i can't find it i know there is spartan ops i just don't know where it is again i haven't actually played halo 4 yet so it might be in that tab so don't quote Online customization in Halo 4 and I think all the other Halo games, you could adjust like what chest plate you had, what helmet you had, and all that. Um, this time you can't. You're stuck with a Mark V armor. All you can do is just change the color, which is a bit unfortunate because you know I prefer like having to being able to customize it to the way you like to have it rather than looking like Master Chief all the time. I mean, as cool as that is, I'd rather look slightly different. Um, so that is a bit up annoying, but, you know, I don't mind too much, considering it is a first-person shooter, but, you know, I prefer if they made it so it was adjustable. That's just my opinion. I mentioned earlier that they have the Halo channel. You d an annoying, a little annoying thing is that you have to have the Halo channel in order to watch the terminals. Um, so that is a little bit annoying, so you do have to get Halo channel if you... I'm uh, trying to get those terminal achievements, and if you want to watch it, especially for those codes, um, which you can use on the Halo Waypoint. Um, so that is a bit annoying, but it's not a big deal. And probably one of the most annoying things, apart from multiplayer, is it's a lot of gigabytes. I mean, keep in mind, it is four games on one, and considering, and just taking that in consideration, and how big other xbox one games are which is quite ridiculous i have about six games and i already am on 50 percent of my xbox one memory which is 500 gig so it is a bit ridiculous but um halo it's a roughly it's over 50 gig and i think it actually can go up to 90 um since i've only played the one game um mine's around the 50 mark but i know it is going to rise so that is a bit annoying because, well, there's only so many games you can play on the Xbox One without having to get a hard drive. So that is a bit annoying. 
Overall though, um, based on what I've played, based on what I've seen and heard, I reckon it's amazing. I reckon it's just absolutely fantastic. I mean, you got all four of the greatest games made all on one disc, and you got all original multiplayer maps, 60 frames per second, 1080p, it's achievements. I reckon it's absolutely amazing. I love playing it. I'm going to have ma major fun on the holidays. Uh, my holidays start next week on Thursday. Um, date, I don't know what the date is at the moment. I'll check later. But anyway, on the holidays, I'm going to have so much fun playing it, especially going for all the original maps. Um, Blood Gulch, I've missed. Um, I'm going to have lots of fun there. Ragnarok. I know that map very well. I'm gonna have fun playing big team battle on that. So yeah, overall, I reckon the game's pretty much amazing. Free for Industries have done an amazing job, especially since there's four games on one. So although there are a few negatives, keep in mind this is not many people have actually attempted this. It's four games on one disc. You have to imagine that's fairly difficult, and obviously there are going to be bugs. So just be patient. Free for industries are working hard to fix it, and yeah. So just be patient, and it'll be just the way it used to be. All your good Halo memories will come flooding back. Uh, so this has been Rano Twenty Nine on Halo: The Master Chief Collection. Hope you enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help. And goodbye.